I finished socks and this time if you watch Privy's video I knitted a lovely little hat for my little one. I tried to link it at the end if you're interested. So now another member of my family needs something which are socks because I've knit been I have been knitting socks since 2015 I would say and they're start having holes just saying 2023 now. So seven years later. Therefore time for new socks for my husband. <laughs> Now, if you watch my videos before, in the standard stuff that I'm talking about today, it's slightly different because I use different knitting needles. Actually, I use two sizes to knit these socks. Therefore, if you're interested in how to knit socks, I will put a link to over here to how to knit toe-up socks because that's what I use. I was yarn over increases over here. I increased the 64 stitches, but on US size 1.5, 2.5 millimeter knitting needles uh, for the toe, heel and the base. However, I went back to US size 1, 2.25 millimeter knitting needles to knit the one by one rib finished with a tubal bind off. I know you use tapestry needle. I don't know, I like that finish somehow and it's also kind of meditative and I can kind of relax a little bit with the, I feel like, old times. I don't know. Let me know, have you done that um, before? I do a true afterthought heel um, because that way I can um, switch things up. And actually first time I checked that I need to put the heel on the eight inch. Just saying I made a little bit shorter because summer is coming. And I also thought that's why I will go slightly bigger with the tip size because I still used a nine inch to do that, but to knit the sock, the tube. However, the toe and the heel, I used a magic loop. And I, and I really liked the looser gauge over here which I think might be a little bit better for summer which let's see how the sock holds on the foot is it is it stretch more than the other one I like negative ease for the circumference and I had a question what the circumference is so the cir circumference is if you're looking at my pattern I have sizes one two three four and that talks about circumference so how many stitches you would need to create up to this point but because it's so up you can always try it on and if you use like non superwash commercial yarn normally the they don't stretch so much after blocking so you're kind of getting the same gauge let's say that way so here and there a little bit and especially that i'm recommending you to go like maybe two inches less than your circumference of your foot so your width but you're taking it and you're measuring your foot as if you would measure your head around you measure your foot around the length of it so the normal sizes that you have in your shop so let's say whichever you are so let's say uk you have six seven eight this is the length so we're talking about that so we're not talking about how many stitches we need we're talking more with the length uh, about how long we're going to get so that normally is an individual thing and in my patterns i will say as you feel comfortable <laughs> to mark for your heel where it should be marked. Normally I recommend you to go uh, two or one and a half inch shorter than actually full length because the, the heel would be, it depends on the size, one and a half or two inches that you need to use. Yeah, but because it's true after all, cut heel, even if you mark it slightly lower or higher at the end of the day, you can, once you have those two tubes and you're going to knit heels um, just to double check do you have them spot on there or or you could actually go and blow wash and block the the tubes without putting the heel and that way you will know what how the yarn reacts and then put the heel and I learned that from my mistakes in regards like hand dyed yarns um, because some of them stretch a lot that's something that I did and it's quite unusual let's talk about yarn yarn is quite affordable so if you're looking to knit socks for the first time maybe and you don't have you're not on the budget if you're on the budget go crazy with the most beautiful one that you see hand dyed go for it because you will enjoy it the process even more however if you're not on the budget and you would want to knit quite easy and nice socks i would recommend you to go and Fine Drops Fable, if you're in Europe, can be very easy to find. Uh, Knit Picks Heather, I think that would be a really good option for the, if you're in the United States. The difference between one and another one, this one has 75% wool, the Knit Picks has merino, so it's more softer. Therefore, there's a difference if you wash them, uh, because these will, with wool, will last you longer. With merino, it's a little more gentle, they will, you know, 
shrink slightly. Not after first or third or fourth, but after ninth and tenth washed. Uh, they might, they might. So that's what I would definitely go for. And this is what I use is 914, if you're interested of this. This one I got a leftover from a friend. So I don't have a clue what it is, but it's blue. So yay. I think that also, once I have it recorded, I can definitely give it to Seb. And uh, maybe during my vlogs, I will let you know how does he feel wearing them and are they too loose and they are going to be a house socks or actually he can use them for his walks. Okay, I think that's that. If you have any questions, leave the comment down below about knitting, obviously, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!